Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Hey, uh, I've had several questions recently, and we did a video on this, I think, about six months ago. But uh, I wanted to go back and revisit this for those of you that uh, have never read the book of Enoch and don't know anything about it. Okay, listen. Every single one of you needs to get the book of Enoch. And if you don't get a hard copy, then they have a little uh, a book of Enoch that you can actually just download the app on your phone. It's free. It's a brown app. And you can put it on your phone and read the book of Enoch. Now, I'm talking about the book of Enoch, book one. The beginning. Book one of the book of Enoch. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and these, this is my opinion on the book of Enoch. This is what I think about that book. And uh, your opinion certainly doesn't have to be like mine, but this is what I believe. Okay, the history of the book of Enoch, you have to bring into account the country of Ethiopia. The book of Enoch was almost lost to history until it was found in the 1800s in Ethiopia. So in, one, in 1 Kings 10.1, it says, and when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. So the Queen of Ethiopia heard about Solomon. This is 1000 BC, how about 950 BC. So she goes up to Jerusalem to meet Solomon. And she meets him. And she listens to all of his wisdom, and she checks out everything that he's got. And it says that, uh, 1013, it goes on to say, And King Solomon gave unto the Queen of Sheba all her desire. In other words, she came up there, listened to his wisdom, and looked around at everything, and then she asked for some things, and he gave her everything she wanted. Whatsoever she asked for. Besides that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty, so that she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Well, while she was there, Solomon slept with her, and she became pregnant. And she goes back to Ethiopia. Now listen, all this is proven. This is fact. She got pregnant, went back to Ethiopia. They have done DNA tests on the Ethiopian Jews, and they are Jewish indeed. Matter of fact, a couple years ago, the, uh, the state of Israel brought back thousands and thousands of Ethiopian Jews and placed them in Israel. So anyway, she bore Solomon a son, and his name was Meliknik. The He was the first emperor of Ethiopia in 970 B.C., Something else that she returned with, and this is in the history of the Coptic Church of Ethiopia, she came back with scrolls. And one of those scrolls was the Book of Enoch. She came back with other scrolls also, but we know that one of the books that she came back with was the Book of Enoch. This is, this is in 950 BC, and the Church of Ethiopia has had that book ever since, and it's part of their sacred writings, even their writings to this day, it's still in their Bible. So the book of Enoch is scripture, it's just not in our King James. And it was originally, and they took it out. So listen. The oldest copy of the book of Enoch is in the Ethiopian church. Now, the book of Enoch was found among the Dead Sea Scrolls. It was found in Cave 11. And the only books in Cave 11 were books of the Old Testament. And Enoch was found right there next to Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Right there with them. Now, let's take a look at Christianity in Ethiopia. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch, of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasure, and he came to Jerusalem for to worship. And he was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the Spirit of the Lord said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself unto his chariot. Why was this 
Ethiopian eunuch in Jerusalem worshiping because the religion of Judaism had been in Ethiopia for over a thousand years since the Queen of Ethiopia returned. And as they went on their way, they came to a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here's water. What does it hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believe with all thy heart, thou may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So Philip baptizes eunuch of Ethiopia. This is in what? This is within a week, not even a week after Jesus died on the cross. And that Ethiopian eunuch brought Christianity back to Ethiopia. So Ethiopia got the Old Testament in 1000 BC when the Queen of Sheba came back and it got the Gospel of Jesus Christ when Philip witnessed to the Ethiopian eunuch. The Ethiopian church has been in existence <laughs> since 33 AD. King uh, Anasa converted in approximately 320 to 360 AD, and that's when the whole nation of Ethiopia became a Christian nation. The church in Ethiopia is called the Ethiopian Orthodox Tewahindo Church, and its buildings and its archaeology date back to 300 AD. Now the book of Enoch we know is quoted by Jude. And the book of Enoch is quoted by Jude. And so when, when, when Jude says, Enoch says, right? That means that the book of Enoch was well read and well circulated at the time of Jesus. Well read, well circulated. And Jude quotes it. And Jude didn't say, well, it's written in the book of Enoch. No, he said, Enoch said. Therefore, he is attributing that book to Enoch. And this is what the, what the church in Ethiopia teaches. And this is what the book of Enoch says about itself. Enoch wrote the book. And Enoch gave the book to Methuselah. Methuselah gave the book to Noah, and Noah brought it through on the ark. There is a very distinct possibility that the book of Enoch is the oldest book on earth. Oldest book. Predates the flood. Is the book of Enoch scripture? Yes, it is. It is in Ethiopia and other places, just not here. Why was it taken out? There were several books taken out of the King James Version, and one of them was the Book of Enoch because they literally could not handle what it said, where the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and the Nephilim were born unto them. They did not, the, the King James scholars did not like the fact that the Bible teaches that. Fallen angels, the watchers came down to Mount Hermon, mated with human women, and the Nephilim, the giants, were born unto them. And you know, in the time of Josephus, back 2,000 years ago, Josephus wrote that, hey, there's, there's skulls, there's skeletons of the Nephilim still on display to this day. You know, the book of Jude was almost left out of the Bible. I mean, it... It made it into the Bible by a thread. And the reason was, is because he quoted the book of Enoch. James, the book of James, it barely made it into the New Testament. Because they said, no, James is teaching works and not faith in Christ alone. So anyway, guys, listen. This is what, what I want you to take out of this. There is no way to prove if the book of Enoch actually came through the ark. My personal opinion is, I believe it did. It's the only way we could get it. Jude says it was written by Enoch, and the only way we're going to get that book is if Enoch gave it to Methuselah, who gave it to Noah, and it came through on the boat. And that's what the, the Ethiopian church teaches, and that's been the tradition since 1000 BC. That's what they say. 
That's obviously the word that they got from Solomon. Any way to prove that? No. My personal opinion is, I believe every word of it. I've read the book of Enoch cover to cover several times, and I believe it, I believe it number one, it's head and shoulders above any other apocryphal book. Head and shoulders. Now, what you have to do is either buy one or get the app and put the app on your phone and read it. Read it. And it explains everything about what happened between the watchers and the women of the earth and the giants that were born unto them. People, let me tell you something. Truth is stranger than fiction. It is absolutely stranger than fiction. You know, the book of Enoch, it's the only writing that I know of that talks about what happened to the women, the women that mated with these angels. The book of Enoch says they became sirens, and that word literally means mermaids. People listen. <laughs> People think, well, that, now, Pastor Bob, you've gone off the deep end now. No. I've been studying this for years. There is cave paintings all over Europe where it shows the men standing on the side drawing bows and shooting at mermaids in the water. There was a man that saw one off the coast of, I think it was Newfoundland, an animal planet went up there. An animal planet, that's a big network. And anyway, they had a submersible sub and they were putting out the sounds of what this man claimed that he recorded off this mermaid or siren. And they, they played that sound underwater. And you can, look, you can look this up on YouTube and see it. That mermaid or siren came right up and put its hand right on the windshield that submersible, a couple hundred feet down, and looked in. And I mean, it, it's a very eerie thing. Burning Man. Burning Man started off a beach in San Francisco. And it is said that this beach in San Francisco, there's a mermaid that's out in that water, and she sings to men and hypnotizes them and draws them out in the water and kills them. That's where Burning Man started right there. People, let me tell you something. Truth is stranger than fiction. But anyway, get yourself a book of Enoch. And by the way, everything I've just given you is my opinion. It is not gospel. Uh, I've been studying this for well over 20 years. And this is, this is what I believe is going on. So anyway, my opinion. Remember that. So guys, get yourself a book of Enoch, get the app, put it on your phone, and read it. Read it for yourself. And just see, because I'll tell you what, you read it, you're going to go, whoa, this is a trip. And it is a trip. But anyway, uh, that's, that's a brief overview of the book of Enoch. And uh, I, think the, I think the absolute biggest piece of evidence... The biggest piece of evidence that Enoch is scripture, well, other than the fact that it is scripture in Ethiopia, but the fact that it was found in Cave 11, right alongside Isaiah, Ezekiel, it was found right there. And also Jude attests to the fact that Enoch said, not someone wrote, Enoch said. So anyway, I just want to give you guys something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose, just remember, once you take your last breath, Yes, it does.